Okay. So layer input. I will go with the new this time. And there is ordinates. So I'll say this is example two point two point eleven. Example two point eleven. This is page seventy four. So this is one. I'm not going to change it. Now this number of uh, load group I'm not going to change as well. This this is number of layer. Now I can say there are one, two, and three layers, right? So this is so we'll say this is number of layer is three, and then number of z coordinates. Number of z coordinates we can have two z coordinates. One is six inches, and the other is at 12 inches the rest is 9 1 1 1 and that's okay for me right now the z coordinates i say one is 6 the other is 12 do you have the book g sir okay so you, you can understand that understand that the first is at the 6 and the other response is at 12 inches as you can see on the page 74 of your book Right? Then there are layers. Obviously, the first layer is 6 inches thick. It is a Poisson ratio, I guess, 0 0.5. If nothing is given, say 0 0.5. The other layer is again 6 inches thick. It has also got 0 0.5. And the last at least, so if you are considering all of that to be 0 0.5, because the book has solved it like 0 0.5. That's why I'm taking it. 0.5 as it is okay then this model i right the period one the first model i is 400,000 400,000 the second model i is i think it's 20,000 20,000 the third is 10,000 i say okay okay and then the load, load is zero because it's a single tire. Contact radius 4.8. Contact pressure, the contact pressure is um, 120 psi. There is response point. It can be say I say two, and then I say the first. RC is zero and the second RC is also zero because uh, both of the point lies just below the center of the tire. So it says okay. I say it's okay now and I try to save as because this is the first time I'm doing this problem. So let's say example two point nine. Uh, page 74 so it's not 2.9 it's 2.11 i guess 2.11 page 74 and then save save that has been saved i, ex I exit from this problem i run this scale layer and see what happens okay seems that it has been solved because my op output is stored in this uh, point, I'll say OK. And then I'll open the editor. I'll go back to the file where I would save it. This is 2.11, page 74. OK, open it. And this is how this I've got these values. I, I try to compare it with the answer right now if i look at the book and i try to find the answer for the vertical stress it's around 
Uh, I found that 14.607, and then there is one 11.1217. There is, there is a, yes, one stress is 7.12 that, that I find here, right? The other stress is also 7.12. So yes, if I found one answer, it's it's okay for me. Then there is, I think, strain is 5.56 something. Did I find this 5.566 somewhere? Yes. So one of the strain is 5.56. So yes, it's good. And I don't think the book has found the deflection. So yes, it's okay. Oh, okay. So that's good enough i'll see my l graph and you can see i have defined this three layers adequately there is a point uh, these are the elasticity more or less i say yes it's i, I don't know I'm, I'm not sure I, whether i print or no so this is how the problem is solved uh, i believe that you don't have any question yes or no <laughs> 